So I wasn't really wanting to do another knife video, but I was in Utah this weekend. We were hitting up some uh, discount stores and went to this store called NPS. And then practically everything in the store was 50% off and they had tools, they had knives, they had uh, electronics, all kinds of stuff. So I uh, spent a little bit more than I should have, but they had, uh, they had a bunch of knives, 50% off poker knives, uh, even a buck knife. Um, and uh, so here's, here's seven of the little tools I bought. That, there's some stuff I'm maybe saving for another video, but uh, here, here, here's a few things for you to check out. I'll post the prizes to them. Uh, I think it was some great deals, so I just had to show off my good fortune. Let's start with the three bokers first. Um, this was probably the most expensive one I got, a whole $15.89, because it was 50% off. So a $15 knife, it's a Stockman style knife. By Boker, to the regular price, thirty-one seventy-seven. It says jigged brown pocket knife, Boker Stockman. So it's got uh, three blades, like a typical stock Stockman. It says tree tree brand by Boker. It's got uh, it's a nice mirror polish there, and then it's got your smaller blade, and oh, that's stiff. I don't like how stiff that is. We'll have to work on that. But it's got those three blades. What does it say on this side? High carbon stainless steel, but it doesn't say what it is. Nice clip point blade. I mean, for $15, you can't go wrong with that. Nice uh, Stockman knife. I have not opened this one yet. It was a whole $5, regular price, $11.39. It says uh, Boker Magnum Mini Trapper Yellow. Made in China. I guess I should have kept my knife out. I can use that to open the other ones. I know these are not the most expensive knives in the world to begin with, but little, some little books in there. And it is right here, trapper knife, yellow, like it said, it's got the little shield on it and it, uh, has another nice clip point blade there. Nice. This one opens a lot smoother. They're just uh, slip joint, no lo non locking. Doesn't really have a half stop there. But it's a decent knife, and you can't go wrong with a Boker knife for five bucks. Let's keep that one open. Well, I don't need it yet. This one uh, I really like. Regular price, twenty six ninety seven. Magnum pocket knife, Range Bust Range Buster Micarta. So it has a nice Micarta handle. And this one was just, I think, just over 10 bucks. I'll have to post, uh, post the actual prices in the video. But uh, nice little micarta knife. It says Boker Magnum. I like that micarta handle. It's nice and smooth. It's a little small in the hand, but uh, it is. Uh, it does feel good. I think this one would be a nice one to carry. No pocket clip. It's 440A. Just a little stainless knife, but I really like that one. All right. Uh, I grabbed this Petzl Spatha. Um, I'm not familiar with this brand, but I think they sell them at REI for around 30, 30 or 40 bucks. 
This one um, was $17.99 regular, so that means I got it for $8.99. And it has a carabiner hole. It's really lightweight, you know, plastic FRN handles. It's designed to, with this carabiner hole, to just clip into your, clip to your backpack or your climbing gear, you know, on a carabiner. I don't know if I can get this out of here. Okay, it feels really cheap. It's hard to see when they're in a package. You couldn't open the blade. It's really lightweight. It does lock. It has an interesting lock back there. I mean, this would be really light to put through on your pocket or a day pack. It has almost no weight to it at all. It does say that it is a, has a three year guarantee made in France. Um, somewhere it said what steel it was. Maybe not. I guess I think I'm thinking of the next one. The serrated brick edge is important for rock climbing. You know, you need something that's going to cut through, cut through cord. So nice. This one was kind of interesting. Uh, I know I'm not going to say that right. A, a ru, ruiki, ru, ruk, ruki. Uh, six functions, like a little mini tool, keychain, pocket knife. Um, this one was about $10. It is a Sandvik 12C 27 stainless steel with G10 handles, five years free repair, lifetime warranty on workmanship. So I'm excited. I didn't get to handle this one, but I think it's going to be a decent little knife for 10 bucks. Yeah, this cuts that plastic pretty pretty dang well right out of the box all right let's check this out oh nice uh you've got a little cap lifter i'm not sure that might be supposed to be a wire stripper you got a little screwdriver on the end i guess that could be a a gut hook or maybe or a uh Probably more of a seatbelt cutter or something like that. Package opener, I don't know. Then you've got a blade. Uh, looks to be maybe two inches. Sandvik 12C27 steel S31G. It's really lightweight. I didn't bring the scales out to weigh these, but didn't want the video to be too long. A pair of scissors, spring loaded, really snappy. Let's try cutting some. This is pretty thick cardboard here, but it's cutting it. Wish I had some paper. Here's some paper. Cut my Boker warranty. All right, they're not great, but they're okay. And it's got a little lanyard thing so you can hook it onto your, onto your uh, keychain. I like that the blade is on the opposite side of the keychain handle. So if you're using it, that would be good. Cool. This one you guys are gonna like, uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, it's Frost Cutlery. I think they're a decent brand. Uh, this looks to me like a gas station knife. This one's called the Steel Warrior. Now I have, I have a, a fixed blade Frost Cutlery and it. it's a pretty nice knife. But this one, I think, is a little bit cheaper. But Trump 2024 had to get this. I think in the end, it cost me around 12 bucks. 
Uh, it's got the hat on it, Make America Great Again, Trump 2024. Um, it's got the uh, aluminum scales. It does flip out okay. I mean, nothing to brag about. And it's a liner lock with dual thumb studs. Uh, yeah, I guess you can use the thumb studs to flip it open. And it, you can close with one hand, although it's not easy. Um, it says Steel Warrior on it. I love that it's got Trump's logo. And I also love, I think it's hilarious that it's made in China. So, <laughs> make America great again, made in China. Frost cutlery. Now, I want to show you this one, and then I've got a couple little multi-tools uh, that I picked up. This was what I was really excited about. Um, it was a Buck uh, 112 Slim, Slim Plus, 112 Plus Slim Lockback. This is an American made knife and uh, I got it for just at $10, just over $10. I mean that, where else can you get an American made knife for, for $10? I was really excited to pick this one up. It looks to be in really good condition. I know it wasn't in the original box and it said as is. So I'm guessing it was some, one that someone returned, but uh, has a large pocket clip, but I don't mind that. For $10, you get an American-made knife made right here in Idaho. Um, 112 Plus says USA on it. I like the green scales. It's going to be a really nice knife. Opens nice and smooth. It's uh, not on bearings. It's on washers, but still really, really nice knife. I was excited to get that one. So multi-tools, I picked up this thing, this Nico. it's a razor blade. Um, it was really cheap. I mean, ridiculously cheap. I think orig original price 523, so I paid like two, 280 for it or something like that. Um, I'm not gonna carry this, it's thick, it's heavy. I'll put it in my tool bag. It has a little lock button here. Pull that out. I wish it was like my Milwaukee one because you can fling that one out. It's really fidgety. This is a two hand opener because you've got to push the button down and then operate it like that. I tried. I don't think you can do it one handed. The cool thing is it's got a couple drill bits in here and you can take those out, put them in the end and you've got a, got a screwdriver. This is going right in my tool bag that I carry around in my truck. It does have a pocket clip. It does have uh, a storage for extra blades and it came with two extra blades. Two bucks. I mean, it feels solid. Uh, it's thick, it's chunky. You can get a good grip on it. Use that all day long. I like how it's kind of angled like that. Make if you're cutting through something, it's gonna make it really nice. Cool. I was happy about that for two bucks. Last thing I wanted to show you, um, this little tool screwdriver, uh, probably made in China. I think it would be something I feel like you could get at Harbor Freight. It says home run made in Ningbo, China. Um, gold Robotech tool, but a dollar 80 for this little palm screwdriver. I mean, that is crazy. And it comes with several bits. So you've got several bits, good for working on knives or maybe eyeglasses or something like that. You've got all these little bits, they fit in the handle. And you can, uh, the handle just fits in there. It's got a rubber washer. You just twist this, I believe. Got like a little chuck. Fit the fit the bit down in there, and you've got a little pocket screwdriver. A dollar eighty. I mean, that's dollar store prices. Even if this was something you'd find at Harbor Freight, I mean, you're not you're not going backwards on a dollar eighty. You're not going to regret buying that. 
killer deals. Thanks for watching. Some of what you all may not know this fun fact, but the Hokey Pokey was actually invented here in Idaho. Um, it was a, a game they would play at the ski resorts like Sun Valley. Uh, you know, everyone would have their ski gear on and they'd do this little dance with their ski poles and their skis. Um, but the Hokey Pokey, the creator of the Hokey Pokey died not that long ago. And uh, I, I hear he had just a wonderful service, but uh, they had a little bit of trouble getting him in his casket. They put the left foot in, they took the left foot out. They put the left foot in and they shook it all about. Not in touch, in touch, not in touch, in touch, not in touch, in touch.